everyone. Today our life skills activity is about developing our large muscles. That is our legs and our arms and our body. We are going to participate in some games. Our first game is called Hopscotch and it will help with improving your balance, your coordination and just get you physically fit. Secondly, we are going to play musical chairs. So you must listen carefully to the music and obey the rules. Our final game for the day is called Hot Potato. You need to listen carefully to the rules of all the games or else, boys and girls, you will be out of the game and the rest will continue. So let's get ready and start playing. Activity 1. The first thing you need is chalk to draw the hopscotch court on the flat ground. For the ground, you can choose sand or pavement. The next thing you need is bottle caps, shawls or a button, rocks or any object that you can use as a marker. These objects are thrown on each square or circle to indicate where to start hopping. To start the game, you must throw your marker on the hopscotch court so that it lands on the square that is marked number one. Then you hop over the block and continue hopping until you get to block number 10, which will be the home block. Then you turn around, you hop back, you pick up your stone or your bottle top, and now you can throw the marker in the block number two, and you can continue until you throw into block number 10. If you are very good boys and girls and you don't throw miss, you can play on. But if you fail, your turn is over and you will have to try in the next round. So be careful, look carefully at the blocks and throw your marker in block number one to start the game. Keep on boys and girls, let's see how you do with this activity. I see you drew the hopscotch, there's from number one up to number 10. So you need to start by number one. And then you go to number two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten will be home. You are going to develop your eye hand and eye foot coordination. You are also going to identify the numbers. So have fun boys and girls and hop along and learn to balance your body. Well done. Have fun, everybody. Activity two. For our second game, you will need a few chairs or you can just use any other object if you can't find enough chairs. You will need one chair or one object less than the total of people that are playing. So if there's five people playing, you must only have four chairs. If there's three people playing, you must only have two chairs. Now I want you to place the chairs or the objects in the middle of the circle. Everyone participating must form a large circle around the objects. You can play some music or you can play an instrument or somebody can clap hands. Then you start. And when that person stops or the music stops, you must get to the chair or you must grab an item. The one who fails to sit on a chair 
or grab an item will be out and must go and sit on the other side. And you cannot be part of the game. And the rest will continue. Now this game will only stop when there's two people left and there's one chair to sit on or there's one item to take. So let's see who's going to be the winner. Only one person can be the winner. And remember, when you out, you out and you must obey the rules. I see you found some chairs and they are packed out nicely. Well done. So now you're going to have lots of fun. You listened and you obeyed the rules of the game and you played well with the others. You wait your turn and there can only be one winner. Remember, only one winner. Activity three. Our last game for the day is called Hot Potato. And this is an excellent activity to develop your listening skills, to learn to play together and to obey the rules of the game. Now, each one will get a hot potato card with a number. Everybody sit in a circle. And when the music starts, you pass the card around in the circle. As soon as the music stops, the leader call out a number and the one with that number must perform whatever the group decides. So if they ask you to sing or to dance, you must do it. So listen carefully, boys and girls, and play nicely. Let's go, everybody. Let's have some fun, boys and girls. Well done. I see you listen well. You listen to the rules of the game. You all have your card with your hot potato and your number. And you learn to wait your turn. Very good. Well done. Awesome game. You can enjoy more fun and games with mom and dad. Keep on playing. Now go and look outside for things that move. Boys and girls, I know you like to move around, you like to run and to jump. So go and look outside for anything that moves outside the house. And then for more fun activities, you can also click at the bottom and enjoy more games and more outdoor activities. Till next time, goodbye.